Okay, on the John Deere 6329 engine, we're gonna check the timing. Now, I've already got it in time, so I'll, I'll take the phone out of it, but I just wanna go over how you properly time these engines. A lot of John Deere engines are this way, you know, whether it's a 6068 or this old 6329 or a 4045, you know, a lot of them are very, very similar. So this engine was rebuilt before. You'll see somebody put some handmade markings in here, which is okay. You know, if you don't know the proper procedure, uh, or don't have the correct John Deere tools to do it. If you mark it, assuming the engine ran and put it back, it, it'll be fine. You know, so that, that's a good practice. But, you know, I saw that on disassembly, but, you know, I don't necessarily care because we have the correct tools to do it the way John Deere wants you to do it. So, so basically, anytime you put an injection pump on or you're doing a major overhaul or major service like we're doing, you've got to go over their timing procedure. So basically how it works is there's a pin you take a bolt out right there and this pin goes in, okay? That locks into the flywheel. That locks the crankshaft into number one TDC, okay? So you can see number one's up and number six is up. Four stroke engine, it's always two pistons up at the same time. Okay, so that's clue number one. Of course, if you got the head on, you don't know that. But one thing about John Deere is the keyway is always down. <laughs> so if the keyway is pointing down towards the oil pan six o'clock position i know i'm upside down here that's what i want to show you but um that's that's usually how these deers are so basically when we look you'll see this little mark here on the cam gear it's just this little itty bitty mark now you see there's no mark here it coincides with like i say trust me when i tell you this is in time um but you come over here to the injection pump gear okay and there's a couple markings there's a four and there's a three and a six right next to each other, a mark. Well, what that means is if this is a three cylinder or a six cylinder, that's the mark we're gonna use. If this is a four cylinder, that's the mark we're gonna use, depending on how many cylinders I've got. Now I've seen in other John Deere engines, there might be a six A, you know, for instance, and then you gotta look up in the book because uh, certain six cylinder engines, there might be a six and a six A, you, you know, you have to pay attention to what you have. That's why uh, the service manual will tell you which way to time it, but, um, so always pay attention to when you take it apart. I always like to take engines apart in time. So that's how we do this. But anyway, this is the special other special tool required, this JD254A. It's this goofy looking thing, but basically how it works is it's gonna rest up against the crankshaft snout and we're gonna go up against the center line of the shafts that we want to time. Now this engine does not have balance shafts. There's a lot of balance shafts. That's what these holes are for. This engine does not have them. But some engines, mostly four cylinders and three cylinders, stuff like that, have balance shafts. So those have to be timed as well. But in this case, all we need to worry about is the injection pump and the camshaft. So basically what we do is we take our handy dandy JD254 tool and we find the center line of that hole, just like that. And we're resting up against the crank and my timing mark should go right over it. See, boom. See, that's in time. Perfectly in the center. See the mark there to the right? Boom, covered up. That's in time, okay? Come over here. Hey, it's a six cylinder engine, so we're gonna line up against the three and six. We'll come right over here. I'm centering my injection pump. I'm resting up against the crankshaft. Boom, right there, see? That's it, we're done, it's in time. Now, one last thing is there's a peep show tent here in the injection pump. There's this little window on this style pump. Some pumps, Standard Iron or Rooster Master or whatever, some have a locking pin, okay, that lock in. Some have a uh, timing window. And you see there's there's a mark there and a mark here, okay. This, the outer part, this side of it is what rotates. So basically what you do is you loosen these bolts, which I've already done this. Once you've got the front end time like this and the pin lock, I'm gonna rotate this pump so those marks line up. That's it. So we can put the peep show tent back on. And that is that. So I'll tighten that up. But that's a crash course on timing. Most John Deere engines, not all, but most. So there's a couple pieces you need.